What's up everybody, this is Eric the Tech Preacher. So you got your Galaxy Note 20 Ultra and you're thinking about switching to the Galaxy Z Fold uh, foldable device, especially on the Samsung side. And one of the biggest questions is, I like my Galaxy Note Pen software and the Galaxy Fold does not have that pen software, so I'm gonna miss out on that software. Not necessarily. So in this video, I'm going to convert or show you guys some easy tips on how to take your Galaxy Z Fold to the next level and convert it into a Galaxy Note. Well, kind of saw that Galaxy Note. Let me explain. Sit back and relax and get your popcorn ready and follow me on this journey. Let's go. What's up guys, this is Eric Beck with another video. So you got your Galaxy Note, or you're a Galaxy Note user. And one of the biggest reasons why you keep a Galaxy Note is because the mighty S Pen. The S Pen is the win all be all, especially with the software. Now, look, you got your Galaxy Z Fold, or you're thinking about getting the Galaxy Z Fold, or you have one and you want to get some of the Galaxy Note software on this device. It's really easy, it's relatively simple. Let me explain. First of all, before I get started here, let me talk about some disclaimers. The Galaxy Note is a Note device true and true. It has a software embedded into the device. So what I'm doing is downloading third-party software and apps uh, to the Galaxy Z Fold to replicate some of the software that you get already with the Galaxy Note. So no way, no how I'm saying that the Galaxy Fold is a Galaxy Note. What I'm saying is that if you want to get pen software with the Galaxy Fold, if you're coming from a Galaxy Note, it's really easy. All right, so since we got that disclaimer out the way, let's talk about it. The first thing you need is a third-party pen. All right, that, that's something that's obvious. I made a video about this pen. This pen is the bomb diggity. You can get this pen for less than 20 bucks. It works great. This is the best pen that I ever had as far as third party. It works as advertised. Now, some of the things that you're not gonna get on a Galaxy Fold is pressure sensitivity. Now, come on now, a lot of people that's not all this and stuff like that, you're not worried about that. You just wanna use the pen and pen software, period. All right, so let's talk about some of the pen software that the Galaxy Note has. And uh, let me show you the software here. So the Galaxy Note, when you get it out of the box, you got uh, create a note, view all notes, small select, uh, screen right and basically that's it right so that's going to be your main core uh, Galaxy Note functionality features well guess what this is Android you can download any APK to replicate anything but you don't even have to go as far as doing that Samsung put everything in what's called Samsung Notes Samsung Notes is it's the, the win all be all is S Note and everything in between all put together so uh, let me show you guys, and I'm gonna kind of pull up, uh, move this to the side, and let's get to the, the Galaxy Fold. Now, one of the things that you got to understand is that if you're gonna utilize a pen like this with a pointed tip, you wanna utilize the front display. Basically, you wanna utilize the front display. And that's it. All right, so let's go to it. Samsung Notes. And Samsung Notes is the place to be if you wanna do a lot of writing. So let's go to start up a note, and I'm using a pen. Get rid of that, and right now I can write. This <laughs> is a test. Boom, so there it goes, right? I just utilized a pen with zero lag. It works as advertised, it works great. So right here, I just use a pen. Now, again, you can utilize the software, you could change the background. You could turn it to white. You could change the background back to black. You could also add a template if you want to put lines right there so I could put lines there so I can write within the lines. Now, you do not have palm rejection, but the screen is so narrow, you can just basically use it like this. This is a test. All right, so there it goes. So yes, you can utilize the grid lines. You can utilize all the pen software just by downloading basically one app. The Samsung Notes app has been feature packed, has been updated for everything through and through. So if you want to utilize your Galaxy Fold as, as far as the Note, download the Samsung Notes app. You can get that in the Google Play Store. All right, and go back and we're going to insert, I want to insert an image. So I'm going to go to my gallery. 
Uh, and I'm gonna go to here. Now I wanna insert that image. Boom, so at the at the end of the day, I can insert my image. Now I can edit it, I can do anything I want with it, I can move it around. So at this point, I can do full editing right here, right in Samsung Notes using a pen, and I can crop, I can edit, I can write names on the top, I can do, uh, I can add more photos in it, I can change the background, I can do everything here in the Samsung app. Let's get out of there. Let's talk about another app. S Note. Now, S Note is a little tricky. You got the Google S Note software. You could go to Sam Mobile and you could get the, 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 the APK uh, from Sam Mobile and just download S Note. S Note is another powerful tool, which Samsung Notes kind of took over S Note. So you really don't need S Note. All right, but let's go to look at S Note again. And here we go. Let's go to add, right? And uh, if you follow Galaxy Notes in the past, you know S Note is a powerful software and here it is i have it right here so now right now i can change the background i could put make it black i can add my grid lines and i'm good to go so i hit done so now i got my grid lines and different kind of grid lines let me go and change that i want to get the note line okay boom so i have notes so bam there it is right and i'm good to go this is a test Boom, so right there, I can utilize the power of S Note and I can utilize Samsung Notes that I can jot down notes and get a lot of work done. I can insert photos and everything in between. So yes, you could do it and you can do everything you need to do. All right, so again, if you know about S Note, you know about the software and here it goes, I can do here with S Note, as you can see. Uh, and you can still do your conversions, you can still do your layout, you can do, still do everything with S Note. All you gotta do is download APK. So boom, that right there converts this device into a Galaxy Note. Pretty much, that's the core software that I use there and there when it comes down to the Galaxy Note software is S Note and Samsung Notes. Those are the two. All right, so another uh, unique feature that the Galaxy Note has is screen write, right? Screen write. Now, let's talk about Smart Select. Smart Select and screen write, it's basically, it's, the app that I'm about to show you is basically the same thing, but screen right and small select is, is basically taking the screenshot and doing your cropping. That's basically what, what screen right is. When you screenshot something, you are able to write on the display as you took your screenshot. So uh, they have an app for that. You can actually just uh, push the power button in about uh, in the, the volume by the volume button down to take a screenshot. But I downloaded the app. That's called Screen Master. I downloaded the app that's called Screen Master. That's gonna be in the App Store. What I like about this app is that uh, you can add it as a, uh, a toggle on your home screen if you want. So at this point, I just pressed it and now it just took a screenshot of my display. But I also wanna show you this. Let me go to a website. Uh, and right here, that's my New Orleans sync. So I want to take a screenshot of this uh, right here. So I took a screenshot of that. And what I like about this app right here is so powerful. Not only did I can write, I can crop, right? So I'm gonna go ahead on the crop right here, right? And as I crop, I could edit, right? And then now since I can edit, I could draw, Right there, they say, look at this, uh, this uh, sinks got beat by the Tampa Bay, and right there, boom, right? So now that I can, I can still do all my work. I can still do everything here. Everything that I need to do, I can do, do I can do everything that I need to do as far as what, what I used to do on my Galaxy Note, and I can erase. And uh, this is powerful, very powerful. And also what I like about this app is that it's, they have a, a functionality that's called Spotlight. And this works very well. So right here, I can spotlight that. And as you can see, boom, I can spotlight that part, I can make it bigger. And I can do a lot of editing here. So this is very powerful here. And as y'all can see, I'm using the pen for everything. I'm not touching the display. I'm not doing anything. I'm using the power of the pen. All right, so another question you guys might ask, well, what about if I wanted to use a big display, right? What if I wanted to use the bigger canvas? Well, listen, man, let's make sure we understand something with the Galaxy Fold, right? The Galaxy Fold has a plastic display. 
you do not want to use a pointed object on this display. But again, they got third party scenarios that you can use to make this happen, all right? So they do have third party scenarios to make this happen. And uh, you know, it works okay. Uh, and I mean, at the end of the day, if you want to use uh, third party software, you can. Uh, and you can use third party soft tip pins for the inner display. And these soft tip pins, something like this cost you a dollar on Amazon or at the corner store, something like that. This is Eric the Tech Preacher from Easy Computer Solutions. Look, I make these videos to make your life easier. And look, I'm not making no excuses about why this device don't have this and why this device don't have that. I'm just providing a service to you guys so you can make your life easier. That's all I do. Stop making excuses about why devices do whatever it does. Just utilize the tools that you got, baby, and make it happen. Live your life and have fun doing it. This is Eric. See you guys on the next video. Peace.